This your boy, Hyper Shane, and we back with another fire video. You know, I got some more game for y'all today. Today, we're going to talk about lies that women tell you and what the fuck they mean. See, a girl will tell you a lot of bullshit and sell you a lot of dreams, right? But I'm here to translate womanese. Let's get into it. So first thing is, I'm with a friend. Not my friend. I'm with a friend, right? If she was with her female best friend or her best friend, she's going to be like, I'm with my friend. She's claiming her possession, right? But since she can't claim this dude, right? Or she don't know where she stands in his life, she's going to be like, I'm with a friend. Use your fucking brain, bro. I used to be a simp just like y'all. Yeah. A lot of you going to be like, no, she's probably with a friend. Okay, keep being fucking dumb. You're going to keep getting used and abused by these females, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a simp just like y'all. But now I'm him now. I'm him dunking. And nobody can tell me shit. That's why y'all watching me. I'm here to fucking help. Take my word for it. So always remember, when a girl tell you I'm with a friend, she's with a friend of them guts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one, he's just a friend. You're probably talking to a girl or dating a girl. She's going to say, yo, I got a guy best friend or a few friends as a guy. That's guys, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, that shit is bullshit. Before I proceed, ask yourself this. Do your mommy and daddy got guy best friends or a girl best friend? Probably not. You know why? Because in most cases, a man wants to, yeah, yeah, it's our natural instinct. You know what I'm saying? Only 1% of men on earth can actually be friends with a female. And that's a nigga like me. You know why? Because I actually get girls, so I don't give a fuck about my female friends. And guess what? I'm not texting my female friends every fucking day. I'm not being their emotional support. I'm not hanging out with them every fucking week. And you know why? I'm not giving them all of my time and attention. A woman will suck you dry your attention, dog. She knows you like her. But she gonna use you as a, you know, that beta, that orbiter, just to, you know, suck you dry your attention. And y'all be there texting them, helping them with all their issues, helping them with their guy problems. Come on, stop being a sucker, bro. When y'all really think about it, right? All that guy and girl best friend bullshit, that shit is only valid when you were a teenager or in your early 20s. When you actually start a family and shit like that and you get married, all that shit go out the window and they're non-existent. Believe me. All right, so the next thing is, right? Number three. Oh, you're the best sex I ever had. Bruh, she is trying to keep your confidence up there. You know what I'm saying? She got 50 or 60 bodies, but you masculine the one, right? But she was in college getting ran through by D1 players, 6'5", 280 pounds, flipping her up and down. But little old me, 5'9", 190 is the best, right? <laughs> Bruh, you was the best in that moment. Remember, girls react off of emotions, dog. You know you was really the best when you imprint her for life, right? Y'all can stop talking for two years, and then when you DM her, it's like, oh, hey, Aaron, how you been? Or, you know, y'all could block each other on social media, and then a year later, she follows you. That's how you know you was really the one, the best one. But in most cases, they be lying to y'all, just gassing your head up, and y'all be buying it. Like, oh, you know, I'm macho, man. I was the best. Come on, dog. And to you weirdo motherfuckers, right? Stop being weird before you chill with a girl and be like, oh, this is going to be the best deal of your life. Stop hyping yourself up, bruh. She got bodies. She a grown-ass woman, bro. You gonna be the magical dude that's gonna change her life? Let's be fucking for real. It's possible, but let's be fucking for real, dog. You seem desperate and corny. She gonna be like, this nigga corny. He don't get no pussy in his real life. Number four, I forgive you. She forgive you in the moment, right? She gonna put things on the back burner for now, right? Right? But the moment you get her mad or pull some bullshit, she gonna use it against you. It's manipulation. For example, let's say you cheated on her, right? Oh, yeah, she gonna forgive you, right? Bullshit. She gonna cheat back, you know, five months down the line or a year later, and then she gonna be like, oh, but you cheated first. These girls are manipulative, dog. It's just their natural nature. But here's the beauty of things, right? Once you accept female nature for what it is as a man, right? You will never get mad at a girl again in your life. Bro, a girl could cheat on me. Leave me. I wouldn't give I wouldn't give a fuck. I would just blame it on female nature. Another option came along. Indirectly, that's God telling me, nigga, you gotta step your game up. You doing something wrong if you cheated on me. Five, the famous I get along better with guys. Any girl that ever told me this shit was a fucking whore. I swear to God, in most cases. You have a chill with a whore or you know a slutty girl. And they're mad cool. They're like one of the guys. Exactly, bro. Think about it. And put two and two together. Every girl wants a group of friends, bro, that they could go to the club with. They could go to brunch with. Oh, these young girls my age, 21 or 25, they love brunches with the girls on a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? My boy, my boy, right? His girlfriend, she be going to brunches with their friends. She got a nice group of friends and shit like that, right? Every girl want fucking friends, dog. So if she tell you, <laughs> I get along, you know, better with guys, <laughs> her throat is a... Cream pie, you dig? Six, the famous, oh, I hate guys that play games. Guys, they love a guy that play games, bro. There's a million Simpsons in her DMs that's not getting responses for a reason, right? Because she's chasing the asshole. The guy that's putting himself first. The guy that's on his fucking purpose. The guy that's unemotionally available to her, you know what I'm saying? So this is what you do, right? You chill with a girl, and then you pull back your attention, and she's going to chase you now because it's going to kill her ego. Like, no way he's ignoring me. Like, no fucking way. Guys, I tell y'all all the fucking time, right? A female's confidence is a glass tower, right? From all the Sims gassing her up and boosting her ego, right? So when you do that, ignores her, it's like you're throwing a brick at it and it collapses. And that's going to chase your validation. Because it's like, no way he's ignoring me. They're not used to getting ignored, bro. There's so much power in ignoring a female. You guys don't fucking understand. When you ignore a female, it's like you hack the female matrix. You give them a mental virus, bro. It makes them go crazy. 
can we just talk about how weird the getting to know you phase and the talking stage phase of this generation actually is because whether you want to admit or not we all want what we can't have okay and you can sit here and lie to me and be like no i don't like when people play games i don't like when people are fucking confusing shut the fuck up okay shut the actual fuck up because we both know you are more attracted to someone when they give you mixed signals rather than sit there and be very straight up with you and tell you that they want you okay so you know what happens someone starts being like oh i like you but then you don't like them because they want you and you want someone else but then that person doesn't want you because you want them and then someone's chasing you while you chase someone else and then that person is chasing someone else and we're all just running we're all just fucking running like why are we running and at what point does someone just stop and be like eh like Mm, sure i want a relationship fuck this i'm tired of running you know is that how relationships start when someone's tired of running like this shit is weird bro this shit is fucking weird yo guys hopefully i fucking watched that 54 second clip i just posted that girl talking right that is a female telling you the same shit i'll be fucking telling you dog they love the chase bro but they don't like when y'all chasing them she just fucking told you bro you never listen to a female's words bro always listen to her fucking actions her actions will tell you everything about her but yeah, that's all for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys rock with the content. Like, comment, subscribe. I see all your comments, comment video ideas, topics I want me to talk about. You know, I'm not that famous. I read all your comments. And hype beast out.